Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to type, uh, create type uh, text. And not only that, we're going to animate it. And it's very, very simple here in Maya. It's got a great text feature that allows you to do text, 3D text, and animate it. Very, very simple. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, as you can see, uh, this text has the bevel the extrusion and the letter all different colors and that was almost automatic let me show you the text feature here i'm going to select it here's the text feature uh, and the cool thing is that uh, we can come in here and type anything we want and it will respect everything everything is the same and even the animation is still there. Look at that. Easy, awesome. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and start a new scene. Don't save this one. Here's my new scene. Uh, and the text tool is right here, right on the poly modeling shelf. It's right here, it's a T. When you click on it, hey, there's already type there easy and it shows up here in your attribute editor all you have to do is select this type and go ahead and change it i'm going to type in all caps animation spell it correctly and i am going to select um, center justified so that it centers it all of the font features are here the alignment you could do left center and right justify the font size there it is I'm gonna zoom in the tracking that's the space between the the letters uh, the kerning is also the space between the letters the letting is the space between the lines we don't have multiple lines we just have one word so there's nothing here and then here in the geometry uh, we can adjust the curve resolution if you can notice here in the O it's already at 4 uh, but I can turn it way down which go, looks very very low resolution uh, or we can adjust it so that it looks smoother and those are just the curves uh, there's nothing else with the curves just the O so we'll leave it at uh, 4 and then this deformable type, deformable type, uh, all it does, and it breaks up this face, this face here. I'm going to go back to the type, go back to the text. Uh, no, I'm sorry, geometry. When you click on it, it breaks up this face so that you can deform this type. Uh, very, very powerful, guys. Uh, when you try to bend this type, it won't bend unless it is broken up like this. And, and you have some adjustments. You can refine all that stuff. Uh, I'm going to leave it off for now. Uh, this is the extrusion, how far it goes. This is the profile of the extrusion. I can change it. You won't see any uh, changes until I do the extrusion offset. And there it is. Uh, something like this for example <clears throat> and you can see that extrusion uh, bending uh, I'm gonna leave it at uh, normal just straight and then the bevel you can turn on the bevel and you've got some options here bevel distance how big that bevel is uh, the bevel offset is how deep it is towards the center and then uh, bevel divisions is how many divisions in the bevel right now we've got six I'm just gonna put it at one so you can see that bevel right there oh I, I forgot to uh, the extrusion divisions the extrude divisions turn it back to zero or one so we can see that bevel a little bit more clearer again the bevel offset is how deep it is towards the back if you put zero, it's not going to be any bevel. It's just, I'm going to push it back a little bit. And then the distance is how thin it is. 
there we go just a nice little bevel and then if we go back up that was all the geometry uh, the texturing of course we've got a blend material and you can change that blend material if you go into it you can change it to I don't know whatever color you want there we go or I'm gonna click back on it and get back on the type tool or if you click this little button here it will separate the extrusion the bevel and the face so I'm gonna click on it and it gives you three materials of course I can adjust the um, type shader for the face the bevel shader for the bevel that's the yellow and the extrude shader for the extrusion I can I can adjust any of these if I just go into it this is the face I'll just make it red so we can see there it is and there it is I may change it back just so that we could see it a little bit better here all right let's go back to texturing and then animation there's the most powerful uh, module of this whole feature is the animation we can click animate to animate it we can animate the characters we can animate the words we only have one word so this won't matter and we can animate the lines again we only have one line so that doesn't matter we're gonna animate the character so what we're gonna do in this animation we're gonna come down from the top here to the rest resting place I'm gonna give myself maybe 90 frames I'll zoom in I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here and from frame 1 let's say that this was gonna take 20 frames so at frame 20 I want this translate to be right where it is so the translate this is XYZ so on the Y I am going to right click on this and set a key you can see that it's now red because there is a keyframe for the Y position the Y is up and down I'm gonna go way back to the beginning of the animation to frame one and at frame one I want this to be maybe three units up maybe four a little higher and it already created a keyframe because I've got auto keyframe turned on this is auto keyframe off without the little red square turn it on this is auto key that means that any movement I do with this on will create a keyframe automatically so that's cool if we just hit play now look at that it's already automatic it's already animated simple as that we just hit one two keyframes on the Y position and it automatically animated all the um, characters now we can add to this animation let's go back to frame 20 and the rotation here in the Y let's put here 360 and let's animate this set a key and then back to frame 1 and put 0 0 and it's automatically animated and now when we hit uh, play boom look at that we can definitely animate the scale let's go to frame 1 well actually frame 20 we're gonna do all these at 1 set 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 and then at frame 1 let's do half 0.5 0.5 so we've shrunk it by half so as it spins as it moves down it'll grow boom there it is and like I said in my intro the cool thing is you could type in whatever and everything stays guys look at this boom uh, you could do
and again everything stays all my settings stay that is very cool that is very powerful look at that easy easy it took me five minutes to get this done hey guys I hope that you've liked this if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you on the next one thanks guys